Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Lara. Last video I will show you parents module about the how to add a parents and how to edit parents and filter in parents and uh, we will make all the testing data here. Okay, like test test because we don't want to go violation. This reason we are using testing data. So in this module I will explain how to create a teachers. So I have already made all the code about teachers. I will show you one by one all the codes. So just go to resources inside you need to go layouts inside you need to go headers and I make zoom out now and I go downs. So I already made code for teachers so I make uncomments. So here I have created like a teachers menu name. Here I did the admin slash teacher slash list just copy and paste here and I will change like a segment is equal to teachers. Let's go back again and refresh the page so you can check it here teachers menu so you can see it here teachers menu so let's click on the teacher menu so i will click on the teachers menu so i have already created one route for the teachers inside uh, routes inside go to web inside you can check it inside uh, admin level inside you can see it like a teachers all the routes like the list add post method adds edit post method edit and deletes and I already created one controller for teacher controller same like we did like admin controller student controller same thing we did here teacher controller so teacher controller inside you can see it like a listing so this is the listing so you are getting the, all the data here like a teacher list so this is the data for testing data like you can see it every place I will write it test 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 here like a testing data teacher for at the test dot com also I have write teacher name teacher for teacher one teacher three teacher four teacher five Whatever. And here is a profile pic like a one is a dummy pic. No anybody can face here. Okay, so this is the user inside. We have created another function like a get teachers. So I go to get teachers. So get teacher inside. I have made a for made a for a filtering. Let's make a comment filtering. So you can see it here. Just I explain. User type is equal to two. Two means is a teachers. Suppose I go to database, so I can show you user type is equal to two because one means admin. 2 means teacher, 3 means student and 4 means parent. So user type is equal to 2 means the teachers. And here I have made like uh, is delete is equal to 0 means this is the teacher is not removed. And also we have made like here order by DHC order so means descending order. So all the teacher, new teacher always showing the first year. Suppose you are creating here new teacher to showing the first. Let's make an uncomment. And here we have made uh, all the filtering. Like uh, suppose I can search here. Like I can search here teachers so I just search because everybody name is a teachers so showing the teachers here suppose I can search like the teachers not teachers a b c d so I search here so you can see it here is no record form because like this teacher name here is not there so record not form so teacher name last name emails genders you can see it like we have also use a like query every place email gender, mobile number, status, address, admission date, dates and status. So you can see it here. Okay. So let's go to back again controller. Inside we can go to admin inside teachers inside we have did listing. So we just go to admin inside teachers inside going to list. So let's inside we have write here teacher list and here we have like uh, search search teachers like search teacher means that we have made a filtering. So just I have copy inside like a student, student inside I have copy and I put here like name, last name, email. So here is the, like you get the all the date value about the whatever you there inside auto selection. So this is the coding. So you can see it here like a gender there, mobile number there, status there, current address, status, date of joining, created dates and you can see search and reset. See reset means you have click on the reset button, same record is going to teacher list okay now here you can see teacher list so teacher list inside we have had like profile pic teacher name email gender date of birth date of joining mobile number material status current address permanent address qualification work experience not status and credit dates and action and also i show all the information about the teachers whatever add information inside database so we are going to get profile so get profile we have made here a common function so you can see it here get profiles okay let's go back again and i can refresh the page now i'm going to 
add new teachers so add new teachers i have already created for this new routes inside uh, i go just routes web.php so you can see it here admin teachers add and this is the add routes you can see it here like teachers inside add so here add type like uh, edit add, add new teachers inside you can see it admin teachers inside i create one file add.blade.php so this file i open so i write html code same like i would copy student inside add and i put here you know what what information i need to put inside add so teacher need like a first name need last name need gender date of birth date of joining mobile number i think status profile pic current address permanent address qualification work experience not status this is the all the information about teacher so teacher we can ask for teacher he can put like this information after you can fill the all the information you can click on the submit button so this is the data we are calling another route for here let's go to back again routes i did save now and you can see it here like a post method admin slash teachers add and here is another function created by insert so this function we are calling here like an insert so we have made here like email validation suppose this is the unique email address also we have built this like mobile number is a minimum character 8 and maximum is a 15 and we have made like this is the status also maximum character is a 15 and here we are adding all the information like name last name gender date of birth admission date admission dates proper admission date means the date of joining because we are we don't want to create a two column inside database so date of joining I will use for admission date okay and here you are uploading the profile pic same as we have did inside the student side here you can see it like a status material status means marriage status address mobile number and we have type here like a user type to two so you can see it here coding one by ones okay I can follow one by one so you can see it now so you need to pause and you can copy and write your code okay so mobile number profile pic current address permit address qualification work experience not status and you can see the email and password after i click on the submit button okay i think now it's clear once you can save so it's going to success method and teachers is fully created so it's going to here let's create a one pictures six okay i created picture six i select anyone date of birth i can like 10 12 2019 i think 19 okay i think whatever because the dummy data date of join today 2023 okay and mobile number i can add 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 done okay here i can have date because these are like a and i can upload here any images here the auto test 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 here the test active and here you can type like a pictures six at the red test dot com because the youtube violation this reason we can't using any real information so i am always using the test information okay i add a password one two three four five six and i click on the submit once i click on the submit so this is the all the data storing inside database and you can see it here new record like picture six we have add this information Suppose after I have made like listing, so listing inside you can see it here. Like I just go to teachers inside you can see it listing. Listing inside I will show you how to make an edit. So this is the two routes I have created admin slash teachers slash edit. So this is the routes for here. Edit routes. Okay. So admin sorry, teacher controller, this is the routes. Okay. Uh, teacher controller inside you can find out the edit function. So I go to teacher controller and here you can see it edit function and user inside I have created means user model inside I have created another function get single so let's open the user controller and you can see it here get singles okay so this is the we are getting the one record and I have also made here condition so if data inside there so it's going to inside otherwise data is not there so going to about 404 and here I will Right, 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 edit teachers and inside admin teachers edit inside I will create a one file edit blade.php and this file inside I will just copy add data all the codes I put here and just put inside 
old inside a slash and we have put this name whatever database inside our column name so this is the data you can see it like edits i go back again i click on the edits so i can show you the files edit pictures and here showing the first name last name gender date of birth date of joining mobile numbers material status profile pics current address permit address and also i pass here data qualification work experience not status and email and password and we are we have already passed one query here do you want to change password so please add a new password otherwise you don't want to add a new password so don't add here password so i just refresh i click on the update function so is a picture successfully updated okay i think now is good everything so you have no issue and go back again and let's go to teacher controller and i can show you is update function so we have already created for this routes like you can see it here admin slash edit edit admin slash admin slash edit inset update so this is the route for the updation so we have made here like a same code just we have made some validation okay this is the email address you need to check and suppose you can add a different email address here you can change the email address like uh, teachers i think you can change like teacher at the rate at the rate gmail.com means a test.com so here showing the error this email already has been taken because this is the email someone already used so you can see it. this teacher already used so we have write just teacher at the test.com because of the we have made a here validation only he checking other emails suppose he can add an email address so he checking other emails okay let's refresh the page so we can use same email address so but i can make here like a pictures 8 at the test.com so it's working very well because this is the email address not stored inside database so it's working very well this is the validation after mobile number validation after marriage status and after you can check like a user since we are getting the information like a get single because we already pass here id so you can see it like i click on the edits so you can see it here id so this id you can get and this is the id while we are checking the email validation after we are getting the data is inside inside user table and once you can get the data inside user table so we have made up all the update query here and we have made here password conditions suppose anybody can add a password here so we need to update otherwise we don't want to update once update data so we can redirect picture successfully update okay this is the like a edit and update code now i can show you how to make a delete suppose you are click on the delete function means delete button suppose you are click on the delete so we have created another routes for deletes like admin slash teacher slash delete and inside delete teacher controller function so i go to teacher controller inside you can see delete so we have just managed the status like we are first we are getting the data because we have already pass here one argument like a, so you can see id and you, here you can see it like a id get single get record is not empty and here you can see this date is equal to 1 means i update the status and after we are success to just is fully deleted let's show you i click on the delete button so you can see like teacher is fully deleted also this teacher is deleted database inside we have made like one you can check let's open the database and show you so you can understand easily is taking some time because of the first time opening this results just wait few seconds this so i can show you the delete code so you can see the delete code and here is a all the update codes okay here is a like edit file code here is a insert code here is a add code here is a listing code so data will open so i go to schools.com because our database name is a schools.com and inside user table inside we have added tabs i think anybody can follow this series so he know about it and here you can see it like a user tab and here also maybe is delete is equal to one so last step would have deleted so it's only one so teacher six you see we are removed i think it's good now 
so let's back again and if it's the page so everything is good and delete function i already show you how to make and also i show you how to make a filter but filter video you can find out next video so i can show you how to make a filtering inside picture list and you can see how to make a here filter and do you want to see like this video and i hope do you want to like this video because i have made before this is the coding otherwise i can do with you real time but i already made this code so do you want to like this video so please like do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching